When we first stopped all the people after the clip one use, uh, the insulin resistance uh, began to resume back again, so we really felt that was too bad. But not on everybody. For example, we had one person who had uh, ketoacidosis, and we thought there might be mitigating circumstances, and she might have too, but she arrived saying, I want an insulin pump. So time went on, and she went on, and through all these things, she got to the two-year uh, place, and there were two other people like her who also seemed to have insulin still, seemed to have not a lot, of, a lot about it, but you could do a lot of things with the insulin that she did have. And she, too, was one of the people who ultimately ended up taking about eh, maybe three, four units of insulin with the biggest meal, never having used a pump just using some insulin when she needed it, not at any other time. So this was very exciting. And I asked her, do you want to uh, just quit everything and just try it? No. And then I just like to say with it, I don't mind this. It doesn't even feel like I have diabetes. It doesn't influence my life at all. And the other two people had similar things, but the economies went bad and a lot of things, and they moved out of the area. So I don't have a story about them. But that one woman, I still see, she's still terrific. She looks good, feels good, and does everything good in life.